Well, Tyson, I was going to start out Please just by asking you about. In there. Yeah, I was going to ask you about your health, but I see you walk in on some crutches, and I guess that tells me a little bit about it. I mean, give us give us the update. Where are you always, at? Always good. Um, had surgery three days ago. Uh, full ACL Rico. So, uh, Shogun got me. Son of a. What exactly happened? I mean, when he um, when he kicked my foot out in the second round, early in the second, he kicked my foot out, and it was a non-contact. Tear, I think they call it, and um, my knee bent out. Yeah, it got me good. Like, it just well, you can't deal with that in the fight. Like I, I tried to pretend like it didn't happen, didn't want to tell anyone. Like I was in my head, I was. I knew it tore straight away, but like you know, you just try and pretend like it didn't happen and try and see what can happen from there. Couldn't push off the floor. Couldn't when I was trying to stand up, I was falling over. But I didn't really know what happened, but I just knew it was bad. So. What's the emotions like from a fight like that? I mean, I, there's not much you can do about that, right? Yeah. I mean, so how, how do you walk away after a fight like that? Yeah, um, I was I was just happy that I was in there with Shogun. Like, um, uh, like it's pretty surreal that this is someone that you watched as a kid and now you're in there going going at him. And um, if I had kept to the same thing that I was doing in the first round, and um, so like this is the first time that I tried to watch tape and do something different from the last fight. So like uh, with um, OSP I ran in and everyone was like why'd you run in with Shogun and but I didn't mean to I blacked out I, he caught me with something and I blacked out and by the time I was holding him I was like oh shit I've done the same thing, mistake again but when you're in the grapple you gotta go with it and um, man he's just a vet like that's what I knew that was coming with it I like I knew I was all over everything that I was doing and I knew I had him but that's what vets do they just bring out something that you weren't expecting and puffed it out and then like, I, I wasn't hurt when he was throwing those those bombs, like I was putting my hands out, but I also couldn't stand up. Like when I was pushing off my knee, it was kept popping out. So it was a fine stoppage for me. So what's the emotion been like? I mean, that was, you needed that result, right? I mean, you, you wanted that result, but again, it's, it's, it's not like a clear loss, it would seem, and not to make excuses. So I mean, what's your feeling like been since then? Well, it sucks, because now I'm like 2-0, and and both times everyone's going, oh yeah, but you had him. Well, I didn't, I lost. So that's how you have to cop it, and uh, this tour, uh, well, I don't know how long it's going to be. The surgeon hasn't given me a time, but they give like a overestimate and hope for the best. But I'm going to go, I've been like watching all the docos from all the ex-UFC fighters that have done ACLs. I've been prepping beforehand, I've prepped hard, I'm already ahead of schedule on what I'm doing. So, you know, I'm, I'm coming back strong and like a, even I'm trying to do everything that I was weak at, so I don't watch tape. That's one thing that I'm trying to do. So, like, uh, you know, everything that I'm bad at, I'm trying to be better. Like, if I'm going to come back, I want to come back hard. I'm not coming to be 15. But like, um. Last thing for me, I mean, as you said, it's too early to know, but perfect case. I mean, in your head, when yeah. do you think you fight again? I haven't even thought about it. I just, um, like, I've got so many other plans during this time, and I want to, like, I plan on coming back a little bit heavier, and I plan on coming back a bit stronger. Plan on changing up a little bit things. Uh, people were bad mouthing the Thailand camp, saying that the wrestling we had American D1 wrestlers. We had all like the, we had plenty of wrestlers there. Couldn't push off my leg. Ty was on the bottom in mount after he got dropped. Yeah, that's not wrestling. He <laughs> just decided he wanted to do guard punching. <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, it's, um, yeah, I, 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 it was a life changing uh, camp for me and uh, the happiest I've ever been. So uh, why wouldn't I go back there? We've got um, top level wrestlers that it doesn't make sense. Ty's brought over another D1 wrestler, so we're, we're doing fine and we're going to come back strong. And then I've got a couple of plans in the books that I don't want to put out too early because I don't want to jump the gun, but I hope you all enjoy it and I know you will. This might be your first camp that Mark's not around for. How's that going to be? We are, yeah, we're still. Like, Mark's a different animal. Like, uh, He's, a, he's not a normal camp person. Like uh, I'm, uh, like even even tired. Like I've, I've got schedule. I'm there, like this, this, and this. Mark can rock up on the day, eat KFC, and still knock the guy out. Like he <laughs> doesn't matter if he turns up or not. For, and for me, like I'm I'm a solo person. I don't need a team. I've been doing solo since day one. So 
Uh, if I train by myself or with a group, I'm still going to train hard. It doesn't matter if someone's watching. And you do train a lot of gyms in Sydney. You go around uh, quite a bit, and now you're yeah. over in Thailand. Do you think that uh, possibly maybe staying in one spot might be better for you, or just the way you roll? Yeah, so I uh, went to Jackson's. That was a dream of mine. I still love Jackson. I've got a lot of love for a lot of coaches over there. I still keep in contact with them. It's just so expensive, man. Like, a, um, And with fights, I was going red, red like every time. Um, Thailand, they're almost paying you to, to be there and like the quality of sparring was not very different and I was also paying for coaches to come over and still worked out for me. Um, in Sydney, travelling, um, I want to go to every, uh, I want to go train with all the best and we've kept a similar team from since James Sahuna, like he's been, he was training with Eagles MMA and Bondi, then I go to Castle Hill for, uh, we're, we've all been training the same route but that was my plan that May, might come in the future that so we'll see how that happens if it comes to fruition it'll be very cool so yeah I've, I've got experiences in my life that I experienced places that I was at and I was like man I want to do this in Australia we don't have it yet so yes. you and your dad are really close how helpful has he been not close <laughs> how helpful the TV beat me my whole life uh, yeah well <laughs> during, this, during this difficult period did he stop beating you and try to help you get through this difficult period because I mean, Social media, it looks like you guys have been working out together and he's been trying to sort of get you through this tough time. Um, it's a, definitely not a tough time for me. Um, I don't know, I might, I might be weird. Like, I don't know if it's weird or it's not tough for me. Like, um, if a UFC dropped me tomorrow, I'd just keep training until I got back into UFC. I wouldn't go like cry about it. So it's, it's not like that, but dad's always there, always hard on like, People would probably call docs if they saw like the hardness that was on it. Like they wouldn't agree with it. But I am where I am today because of that hardness. So it's it's that fine line. Like uh, it still happens today. Gym, gymnasts, like uh, tennis players, people like treat their child like uh, in some way, and they go, "That's not right." But then they're in the world championships, and your child isn't. So I'm in the UFC now, and yeah, I have some bad memories. But <laughs> <laughs> it, now I've, there's um. It hasn't been like uh, one of the biggest things, man, is my dad saying that he's proud of me, and like that was something that I always worked for, and that, that was only recently that that sort of stuff happened. So, man, that's that's the biggest thing for me now. And when I was in gyms, they're always like, "Oh, that's Pedro's son," and now like when I'm training, they're like, "That's Tyson's dad." <laughs> your, your dad, your dad saying that he's proud of you. Is that something that only started happening sort of like once you were fighting? Uh, no. Um, so with weird stuff, looking after my family and like uh, like he's he's been away for a long time and yeah when I was like when I was 16 we were, we were living together and then I was still going to school trying to make the Olympics for boxing and then he goes I got to go away for a bit and he's gone for a year so I was still working two jobs still trying to box and like there's a, a lot of stuff that people wouldn't agree with, but it's the stuff that hardened me and got me ready for life, and is where I am. And now Dad's we're done a full circle, and like I'm really close with my dad and my mum. Like my mum did the other side, like the educational side. My mum's a school teacher and always made sure that I had the best education. So Dad wanted me to go to uni. That was what the fight was about. So I decided to go to boxing, and then he wasn't happy with that. Got beat up. <laughs> <laughs> Any last questions? Thanks, guys. Cool. Thank you very yeah, much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks,